every once in a while, I'll hear a, a preacher talk about God doesn't need you. Like he could, you, he could do things in a million different ways. And that always kind of bothered me. And it wasn't until recently that I, I think really started to understand why you are created unique and unrepeatable. There'll never be anyone that's just like you. And it wasn't until recently that I, I realized that there's another piece to that. It's not only that you are unique and unrepeatable, but why did God create you that way? It's because you and only you reflect God in the way that you're created to. You know, in, in, we, he, we know the passage uh, in Jeremiah where he, where, uh, he writes, before, before I formed you, I knew you and I set you apart. So not only does when God creates us, does, does he set us apart for a purpose and a reason, but in a, in, a, in a unique way, you get to show the world a piece of who God is. You know, it's this beautiful part of the story. So God chose you, you know, in some unique way that only you'll ever have the ability to show the world God. You know, and it's this beautiful thing because, you know, I think about the... When we think about holiness, you know, holiness is not just this thing that we're trying to attain, but it's actually our calling. You know, you are set apart. Literally to be holy means to be set, a, set apart for a specific reason, a specific purpose. You know, I always think about something used at mass, like a chalice you would never put a Coke into. You would never drink out of, of that chalice because it's set apart for a particular purpose, a particular reason. You, because you're of your uniqueness, have a particular holiness, a particular call in your life. And so for the next few days, I want to break that open for as we go towards the end of, of Lent. I mean, I think it's a, it's a pertinent time to think about that. Not just think about Jesus and prayer. We've been talking about a lot of different things. But really, what does it mean for you? What does it mean for me to, to live out that call to be holy, to be saints, to be set apart for something specific for God? As we enter in to the end of Lent, as we enter into Holy Week, as we enter into our Easter celebration, I pray that you might know how you were gifted, what those gifts are, what your calling is and what it means for you to be a saint today.